make sure this shit's in 4K. As season five comes to an end, we couldn't wait to show you what's coming next to Battlefield 2042. I am a Disney kid. So let's start with a first look at season six. Featuring a new map, a chillingly unique battleground harboring dark secrets. Zombies. Season six will arrive in October. If they added zombies in Battlefield, that'd be nice. And features that we reveal nearer the time. Immediately after season five, you're going to have the opportunity to relive some of the best moments from our last year during Redux. Packed full of returning content, themed events, game modes, cosmetics, and rewards. Headlined by remixing our themed events from seasons two, three, and four, rebalanced and brought to more maps. So if you missed it first time around, during the first two weeks, you can play the Liquidators. Prime close quarters combat. Then you'll get to play the Battle of Norvik, securing the objective at all costs. They need to just remaster all the old maps. Finally, Leviathan I bet that wouldn't take long at all. Sabotage the enemy's operation and force their retreat. We can't wait to see you experience these returning events with a refined mode every week on more maps with new player counts and more. There will be a progression track throughout with rewards ranging from entirely new content, including character, vehicle, and weapon skins, to previous store content that now becomes earnable. And this time around, you'll be able to earn ribbons playing any official game mode. Additionally, throughout Redux, there will be more experiences, double XP weekends, store giveaways, quality of life improvements, and more. Relive and experience some of the highlights from our first few seasons once again during Redux, with all the new content and improvements we've brought to the game, all on the road to Season 6. We'll see you on the battlefield. You can earn previous skins that were in the store? Is that, he was, is that what he was saying? Feel bad for the people who bought those. Well, they didn't really say too much about season six. Other than we're getting a new map, which is awesome. And it's launching sometime in October, they said. So I guess these events are going to be holding us over until then. Which is just some like upgraded rehashes of some old events from previous seasons. First time around during the first. The liquidators. I do remember that. Rush chaos. Tactical conquest. Weekly rewards. So are these new skins or old skins? I don't, I don't remember. Two weeks, you can play the liquidators. So if week one, week two. So if it's launching mid October, that means when season five ends, we'll have like a solid month and a half of just nothing. What's up, Kim? How you doing tonight? Prime close quarters combat. Then you'll get to play the Battle of Norvik. The Battle of Norvik. Conquest Assault, Breakthrough Chaos. More maps. During the objective at all costs. Finally, Leviathan Rising. Leviathan Rising. Sounds like a Destiny raid. Shut down. No control. Control, that last event they did was pretty fun. I'm surprised they're not bringing that back. Sabotage the enemy's operation and force their retreat. I was hoping to hear more about the actual season. Like, more of a long term. Whether they're going to keep supporting this game or not. Because I keep hearing rumors that Season 6 is going to be the final one. Then they're just going to, like, halt support and go work on the next Battlefield. I hope not. This game's made a massive comeback, and... I would hate for them to just stop when they finally got everything fixed. <laughs> Seems like they did that with Battlefront 2, but... Anyway. 